Now let's set up some textures and materials for the eye. So I'm going to start with the eye and the eye consists of three pieces. Two of them are going to be really, really easy to set up. And then we'll have to do some texturing on the third part of the eye. So the outer part of the eye is going to be this reflective part. And really all we need to have is the reflectivity and then also some opacity so that we can see what's behind that. So we can see the pupil and also the iris and that main part of the eye. So let's go ahead and concentrate on the outer part first. So we're going to go to eye outer and let's go into the texture set settings. You can see that it's using this main shader and I want to actually create a new shader instance. So I'm going to go new shader instance. Now it's using this copy. So now we'll go into our shader settings. And with this main shader copy selected, I'm going to choose instead of PBR metal rough, I'm going to go ahead and choose this PBR metal rough with alpha blending. So we'll change that material and then we'll jump back to our texture set settings. And now we need to add a channel that can let us drive the amount of opacity. And so let's go in and add a channel and I'm just going to choose an opacity channel. Now we can add a fill layer on our eye outer and I'll go ahead and get rid of this initial layer. Now the fill layer, I'm going to choose a base color of something close to black. All right. Height, we don't really care about, so we can turn that off. Normal, we can turn that off. And let's go ahead in the roughness and I'm going to look at the highlight and I want to define that a little bit more. So I want to make it a little bit shinier. So I'll reduce the roughness amount. You can see how that makes the reflection really, really clear. So something like that. You can also turn the metallic up and down and see how that affects things, but I'm going to leave that at a pretty low amount. The opacity right now it's at one. So this slider is going from all the way opaque to all the way clear. And so we want to just dial this down a little bit so that we can now start to see the eye through this, but still see the reflection. So we can always go back and change this, but the key thing now is that we can see the other parts of the eye. So let's go over to the eye pupil. We'll add a fill layer. I'm going to go ahead and delete this initial layer. And here on the pupil, I want to change the base color to black. And then I don't want any sort of reflectivity on this. And so I'm going to change the roughness all the way up. So it's completely rough. We want all the reflectivity to happen on the outside of the eye. All right. So now we can concentrate on the main part of the eye that's going to have the texture. That's going to be this eye inner. So let's first create a color for the sclera. So I'm going to choose a fill layer and I'm just going to make this base color a white and maybe a little bit of like yellow, yellowish in it. Okay. And I'm just going to rename this and call this sclera. All right. And then on top of that, we're going to make a layer that's going to be the color for the iris. And let's start with just kind of a base color. So let's go ahead and create a new fill layer. And on the sclera layer, I'm going to go ahead and increase the roughness. And then on this fill layer, I'm going to choose for the base color. I'm going to do something like a, a reddish orange. Maybe with a little bit more red in it. And this can be uh, changed very, very quickly and easily. So we're just add, dropping in a base color. Now, we also on this want the roughness to be all the way up. So we want that shininess to come not from inside there, but from the outer layer. And then I also want to mask out the area that's not the iris. So the area that's going to need that sclera color underneath. So let's choose a white or black mask, either one. Let's choose a white mask. And then I want to create a black shape wherever we want this to not show up, which is down here. So we'll go to our polygon fill. I'm going to choose to fill by UV chunk, go to black, and then we'll click on this part. And now you can see that color's only showing up on here. Let's go ahead and turn the eye outer off for a little bit as we start to do this. And so now what I want to do is create the uh, sort of lines coming along this iris coming down into the middle. And so there are several ways we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and create a new fill layer and let's come down to procedurals. Let me pull this up a little bit. And I want to choose this an isotropic noise right here. And so I'm going to drop this into the base color. So that's what it looks like currently. So I need to rotate it. See, it's going horizontally and I want it to go vertically. So let's come in, rotate this 90 degrees. So I'll just put 90 right here. And this is the area that we're looking at right in here. And so let's go ahead and mask out the other area. So I'll create a black mask. And now I want to go in with my polygon fill. 
fill this with white. So now we're seeing that up at the top. We can also go in here and let's do a soft light. So we get something like that. And now we can come into that noise and start to change some of the parameters. And so you can see here, if we change the X amount, we're getting these little strands. You can see where it kind of shortens them a little bit. And so I actually do want to add a little bit of that to it. So maybe something like that. Okay. You can also change the Y amount to increase or decrease the number of those. So I'm going to maybe increase those a bit. So we get maybe something more like that. And again, we can go back here and maybe let's add a little bit more red into this. So I'll come back in here and maybe something more like that. All right. Now I want to add some shading here. And so I'm going to go in and create a new paint layer this time. And I want to create black, a black edge kind of around here and around here. And so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of a larger brush size. I'm going to do this in the 2D view because it's straight across. Let's go ahead and get black for our color. All right. And now I want to paint a line that is straight across. And so I'm going to click, hold down shift, drag across, and then let go and click again. And I've created a completely straight line. We'll do the same thing down here. So click shift all the way across, let go and click. And now we've added that line all the way across. Now I want to blur this out. So I'm going to go ahead and add a filter. Let's choose the blur filter and we'll increase that. And you can see that widens that line out, kind of blurs that edge a little bit. So we can widen that out a bit. We can also come in and dial down this a little bit more. So maybe something like that, but I do want to have that black in there and in there. Now we can also come in on the lines here and we can add a blur to those as well. And so you can see that's without blur. So we can maybe add just a little bit of a blur there. All right, let's turn our eye outer back on. So even that is looking pretty good, but we can come back in here into the color and start to brighten that up so you can see it through that line there. Now I want to add a couple more layers here just to make it really pop. And so I want to kind of emphasize the shadow that should be right here. And this iris should be a little bit darker at the top and then a little bit lighter where it hits, the light hits at the bottom. And so let's add another layer. So I'll go ahead and add another paint layer and it's going to be all the way at the top. All right. And I'm going to turn the eye outer off. And on this paint layer, let's go ahead and I'm going to change this to white. Get a uh, bigger brush size. And maybe not that big. I'm just going to paint in right across the bottom there. So something like that. Now I'm going to choose some different blend modes here. So let's go to an overlay. And then let's also blur this out because I don't want that hard edge down there. So we'll go ahead and add a blur, increase that blur amount, and it should start to blend that edge out a little bit. Let's do the same thing in reverse. So we'll create a darkness uh, at the top. So we'll go ahead and add another paint layer. This time we'll choose black. All right. And this time I'm going to paint in across the top here, something like that. Let's go ahead and we can dial that down. We can also add a blur and let's go ahead and change the intensity. So it kind of blurs it out a little bit. Okay. And then I also want a shadow that kind of goes across the whole thing. So let me just add one more layer and this one, I'm going to create a dark line right across the whole thing like that. We can come in and change the blending to darken that up a little bit. Let's turn the eye outer back on and it really just brings it a little bit more alive there. Now, if we wanted to, we could also add some detail back here with some uh, red, maybe add a little bit of red back there would be good. Um, but we'll go ahead and leave this as is, and then we can sort of tweak it later if we need to. I can dial that darkness down a little bit. 
All right, so let's get it to a point where it looks something like this. And you could add some extra noise in there, but I think that looks pretty good for now. And so the next thing that we want to do is create a base for the skin. So we'll start with areas like the hands and the legs, and then be able to apply that base to our head. So we'll go ahead and do that next. 